Hey guys, I'm Faris Gaskin and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to add and use text views in your Android project. In Android, you can either set the display text for text view by hard coding it or dynamically adding it during runtime using codes. So we'll begin by starting a new Android Studio project. We'll choose empty activity because it has the least number of codes for you to start with. We'll call our project My Application. We'll choose Kotlin as the language and click Finish. Project building usually takes a while, depending on your machine and how much RAM do you have. So I'm going to expand my view. Right, so I have my project now. I don't need the build messages right now, so I'll put this away. Let's start with activity main.xml which is our main view let's go to the text display screen and I'm going to change the text of the text view into something like uh, this is a hard coded text in xml and we'll switch to design view so we see here the constraint layout and the text view so what I'm going to do now is add a new linear layout vertical. I'll drag it right into the component tree onto the constraint layout. So linear layout becomes the child of the main constraint layout. And there are some blue plus boxes buttons here. So I'm going to click them on. So this will set the boundary between my linear layout and the edge of the screen so I'm just going to set everything to zero so this will ensure that our layout fits snugly onto the screen display and I'll give it an ID layout1 next I'm going to drag the text view onto the linear layout so as you can see, the text view have floated from the middle of the screen onto the top of the display. And again, we're going to click the blue plus buttons to set the boundary between our text view and the edge of the screen. So left and top is zero and bottom and right is a few hundred pixels. In the onCreate function, we're going to add a new object of the type text view. Now as you can see, Android Studio pops up a list of suggestions. So this ensures that my coding time would be cut significantly. So let's define the size of our new text view. So TV dynamic dot text size equals 20F. So this is a floating point. You can type without the F, but Android Studio will complain, so I'll just put it anyway. And we'll set a text for our new text view. This is a dynamically added text view. 
<coughs> now let's choose a place where our new text view will be displayed. So at to out ID of our layout was it layout or layout one? I think it's layout one dot at view TV dynamic. So let's test our project. Click the green play button and don't forget to connect your device onto your development machine. Otherwise, you can use virtual devices, your emulators, but this will make your computer run slowly because each emulator takes up a lot of your RAM. So I would suggest testing your project on a connected device and click OK. So let's wait for the project to build. Now as you can see here, my project is up and running on my Samsung phone. So we have the first line of text which is hard-coded text in XML and the second line of text which is dynamically added using Kotlin right so we're going to stop our project for now in Android any child class of the view class can be connected to the set on click listener method using our previous project go to activity main.xml and let's give our text view a simple ID let's just call it text view one and we'll go to main activity so right now we're going to tell our app to look for our text view object We'll create a new object. And we'll call it TV Quick. So to bind our XML and Kotlin objects, we'll use find view by ID and we'll choose r dot id dot text view one as text view. Next, we're going to add a listener. We're going to tell the system to listen for any button clicks specifically from the first text view so if a user touches the screen elsewhere nothing will happen so we're going to import toast into our project and whenever a user clicks on the text view A toast will come up 
and it will say something like you clicked on the text view and we'll define the length of the toast so we'll just use length short probably a second or less and dot show so let's give it a try right so as you can see here each time a user clicks on the text view a toast will appear it says you clicked on the text view presenting justified text in Android is as easy as using the justify button in Microsoft Word it can either be done on XML or Kotlin the choice is yours so for this example I'll add the justification method directly onto the XML. So first of all, I'm going back to the hard-coded text view and I'm going to type something a bit longer on the text. So I think I got enough text for this and I'm going to change the layout width for the text view to match parrot. Okay, I'm going to type a bit more on the text, give it something extra. And we're done. So let's test our app. So as you can see here, the text is pretty much justified but the display needs to be tweaked a little bit more because we've set the margin border to zero for each but basically as you can see the text now fills up the whole screen so that's it for now if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.